All right, Jordan Peterson, play by play. You know, most normal people like to probably make YouTube videos and just talk about sports and give their opinion on these sport games, football, baseball, whatever the season be. Well, all I do is watch Jordan Peterson videos, and so that's going to be my play-by-play -play today. I wanted to talk about this uh, little video uh, that Jordan Peterson posted about uh, 24 hours ago, probably. The Weekly Insider, he went on uh, a talk TV show and was um, interviewed by a woman. And she brought pictures of him with Keck Boys and a Pepe flag. Uh, I'm not going to do any explanation on these things because I'm going to assume that everyone watching this probably already knows what it means. Now I'm going to be, I'm going to admit that I'm probably one of the individuals that Jordan Peterson kept from going off the deep end, but it was the other side of the pool. I am high trait openness, low trait conscientiousness, therefore I am I have a tendency to skew to the left of the political spectrum. And Jordan Peterson helped me understand the conservative, the underlying conservative foundation of evolution and pretty much all of humanity and culture. So that put a huge stop to um, my sort of leftist ideologies. And I wouldn't say that I'm red-pilled because I think that language leads us to believe that a person can just sort of overnight change or take a pill and change their, their sort of physiological makeup or their psychological makeup. And I don't think that's true. I think a person, I think that you can, I think that you can learn things and a lot of those things will actually um, change, change I think what it does is it changes humor and so there's a phrase the left do, the left can't meme and what's happened in this past year with um, politics is that comedy has completely inverted um, the left has taken the stance of um, the sake of people's feelings over and against freedom of speech. So uh, comedy has completely inverted. It's conservative. Comedy is conservative now. So uh, the, I want to show you guys this game that I got recently. It's called What Do You Meme? Now, I played it the other night. Pretty fun game. It's full of pictures. It's got a bunch of these just little cards with uh, memes on it, or pic pictures that people have <clears throat> turned into memes. And I countered something in there. Pepe. There's about three different Pepe memes in here. I imagine that there are a lot of leftist people in the world that have probably p played this game, What Do You Meme? My question is, do they consider this game to be hate speech? Is this game been co-opted by the alt-right. Do the left, do the lefties, when they play this game, burn it in revolt and protest? Or does this game have a pass? That's my question. I don't have the answers to these. I'm, it's not a real question, but I'm driving at something, obviously. Um, I think Jordan Peterson did a smart thing by not admitting that he made a mistake by taking a picture with a cartoon frog. Uh, I like the imagery of Pepe. I'm an artist I, I, by, by education, and it's got a really hilarious aesthetic to it. I mean, take away all the political underlying um, things that people have tried to co-opt it for, and it's just a funny picture. Come on, guys. Um, so thank you for not... Uh, apologizing for that Jordan Peterson 
and um, I'm gonna wrap this up five minutes in you guys don't want to hear any more of this so thanks for listening y'all folks have a good day